Do you remember I found a whole cave system off my mind? But I got to a point where it was dark and I was cowardly and I didn't light it. That's just down there, really. So that goes down to the mine. This goes down to the dark bit. I've chucked some torches in, but a lot of it's still really dark. Uh, I noticed there was this opening and I didn't want things dropping on my head. So I came up lighting this and skeleton spawner. Nothing much exciting in the chests. Yet another copy of record 13. A couple of bits of horse armor, some bones and some bread, which I've eaten. But a skeleton spawner, but look at this. Look at where it's come out. Oh, it's night time, damn it. I'll go sleep. Oh, look at this. This is my new shops. That's where that skeleton spawner is, about 10 blocks go away. About 10 blocks below. Oh, there's nothing up there, is there? All right, we'll go in here. About 10 blocks below there, which explains why that field was always full of skeletons. Oh. Oh. We don't need you. I'll get rid of you. I'll see if we can get rid of you. Yep, better. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Okay. We'll duck back under there in a second. Oh, you're such pests. Better. Alright, let's go back down here. Oh, maybe a bit more than 10, but still, not much. Now, that's going that way. I decided to light going this way, which was scary in and of itself. Oh, there are so many zombies. I nearly got killed because I got mobbed by them. But... Yeah, I haven't done down there. I haven't done over there. I've started to go down there. These two connect, but look. Oh. Oh, excuse me a minute. I do not want things coming up behind me like that thing. Oh, go away. Be quiet. Leave me alone. I can hear skeletons and all sorts. Oh, I just want to show you what's down there. I just need to be a whole lot braver. Oh. That's where you're coming from. Okay, we're going to have to sort that. Go away. Go. Oh, shivers. Now it's the creeper. Oh, it's just been like this and been like this and been like this. Oh, that goes under here. Oh, okay, that's not so bad. Except that that's where I got mobbed. Ah. Uh, all right, I'm going to make a run for it and I'll show you because I bet you've seen, look, there's a mine down here. I'm going to get my supplies together properly because I haven't got anywhere near enough arrows for starters. See what I mean? Zombies. I've been attacked by five or six at a time. It's really quite awful. 
Yeah, I know that was only two, but still. And another one. Go away. There's a whole section somewhere that I haven't lit. And I don't know if it's just bad luck or if there's a zombie spawner. Ugh. Anyway, I'm going to go get proper supplies together. And we're going to... Shush. We're going to try and sort out that mine. Because the last miner... Well, the only mine I've ever found under my base was tiny. Maybe this one is decent. Maybe this one will get me killed. Ah. Anyway, I'll meet you back here.
start back at our skeleton spawner underneath the shops. <sighs> I complained that the mine over there coming off our mine mine was too small. This one may actually be too large. <laughs> what you saw on the time lapse was, I don't know, maybe maybe a third, maybe. I was down there a total of 16 hours and I am still not sure that I've finished it. It goes on and on and on. I may not have finished it, but it's finished me. I've had enough. <laughs> but what did I get? Six shulker boxes of stuff. Let me show you. Iron and gold. I know the iron alpha is overflowing. I know there's a glut. But I physically could not leave all this in the walls. I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. <laughs> I need to build something to store all our iron in. And look at all the coal. And that's some of the coal. Well, it's probably most of the coal, but I had to use a fair bit to make torches to light all that lot. So I need to build something to store coal in. We've got a nice haul of cobble, just from digging things out to get to stuff. We've got rail, and more rail, and more rail, and minecarts. So next, here's a bit more cobble that wouldn't fit in that other chest. We've got some ingots from minecart chests, odd blocks from digging things out, whole lot of redstone and lapis. Then we've got mob drops, so lots and lots and lots of string. Heads, a lot of rotten flesh, and I don't think I picked all of it up. Bones, gunpowder, spider eyes, and then just some bits and pieces. So we've got seeds from minecart chests. We've got mushrooms that I picked up as I placed torches. They popped and they went into my inventory. And last but not least, what treasure did we get? Not a bad haul. Six music discs, so all cat and 13. <laughs> Random bits of armor, a couple of bows, some books. They're not bad, although I don't even have a trident. <laughs> Horse armor, golden apples, chests from chest mine carts, and look at this. One stack and 48 diamonds. Not bad. Oh, and four golden apples. Ah, oh, so that is the loot. That's all packed up. I've got a couple of things to show you. I took a little break at Christmas. I did a little bit of building. Oh, I've still got to clean up here. I got the graveyard done. Uh, the rood isn't finished yet. I put some cross arms on it. It didn't look right. I've got to work that out. But we have headstones. And they all face the correct way so that your feet are at the east and your head's at the west. There's reasons for that. <laughs> but if we come in here... Oh, there's my bed. Okay. We're coming down here. We have a crypt. This was the suggestion of viewer James Sleeman. Thank you so much, James. And this is where I keep my head collection. So the heads that we picked up in the mine, I'll be adding over here. And... We still need to put a relic here of some sort. I don't know what it's going to be yet. Still got to think about that one. Okay. Uh, if we could kill the dragon again. I mean, do we get another egg or do we just get the one? Because if we killed the dragon again, I could put an egg there. We'll work something out. So now there's a crypt under the church. But that's not all. I'll meet you round at the engine shed. Oh, I really need to make a road or a path through to here, through to the train yard. So viewer RWS 
has been very, very patient with me. He requested an engine back in September and I got all excited and then promptly got sick and didn't do it and then sort of got worn out or a bit burnt out. But look, it's done. This is the LMS 3249 Crane Tank Engine. When RWS suggested this for me, he put some pictures in Discord and I got so excited. I thought, oh, I know exactly where to put this. And about two seconds of research showed me that I didn't know where to put it. This is not a crane for loading things onto flatbed trucks. This is a crane for laying and repairing track. The engine itself acts as ballast so that the crane doesn't tip over because this stuff is heavy. So we've got it in here replacing some worn out track. I need a couple of nearly broken anvils so calling all alphas if you've got one or two I'd love them. I only need one or two. Now it will come up in here. We've got controls for the crane. This one's turned sideways. We've got a little coal bunker. And for the first time ever, we've got a way to see down the side of the boiler. So I've got to fix my other engines with this variation because that finally works the way it's supposed to. And we've got the crane lifting in the new piece of track and I want to have the busted bit of track here. But RWS, that was a terrific suggestion. I love this little engine. There will be a tutorial out for it. If you're watching this in the future, there'll be a link in the description and hopefully one up in the right hand corner. But that's a new little tank engine. And yeah, I will make bigger engines. It's just, you know, tank engines, they're fab. <laughs> so next time I think we might make some infrastructure for the trains or somewhere to store the iron. It'll be one of the two. 16 hours in an abandoned mine, I am cured of feeling like adventuring. <laughs> so while I'm working out what I'm going to do, there are end cards on the screen so you can watch some more of my videos and I will see you next time. Bye!